we're going all the way over to East London for a bagel. What even is a bagel? Is it a posh sandwich? Is it a roll? Like, I've had the best of the best, supposedly, and like, if New York's not gonna do it for me, respectfully, I don't think East London will either. I think everyone wants to park in this place. To be honest, I'm happy, so when my brother comes, he can take his space. So first, the shop was established in 1855 as the first ever bagel bakery in uh, the UK. It was established by two uh, Jewish Israelis, then ran it for a good 70 years, got into a little argument, and then my parents, my father actually, took it over around 70 years ago. The traditional way of saying bagel, not bagel, it's bagel, which is the English-Polish way. I've been told once that half the shop was covered in flour because of me and my other two brothers just having flour fights for about an hour. The shop is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, so everything is made fresh all the time, every time, every day. Ain't no bagel when she comes. Bow, 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 only darkness by the way. Bow, 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 bow. Ain't no bagel when she's gone, cause she's always gone Yo. too long. Many Look. times she goes oh. away. Yeah. Listen, bam, look, bam. I'm, at the, I'm at the bagel with bros, a bagel made dough, hey. the bagel you know that hey. is cheese on the floor, oh, hey. cheese in the jam, you know we the man, call me bagel, and said the bagel's in town, it's hey. Hey. Right, you ready? Well, I heard the guys from the Munch Club are coming today. I know Jordan's a chef as well, so I'm very excited to show all of them the bagel experience from back in the old days. The recipes never change, so they can learn, experience, and also enjoy a lovely, fresh, beautiful bagel. Sure, it's gonna be that. Every sure it's gonna be. Trust me, mate. Over here, man. Yeah, man. Let's go. Right, we're in the heart of Brick Lane right now, outside the bagel shop. Now this place has got so much history, it's a joke. Two in the morning, two in the evening, this place pops off. I can't wait to get my hands on some dough. It's smelling like yeah, my man's Right, guys. It smells very, very nice. Uh, Hello. Hello, guys. Big boss. Yes. Nice to meet you. Yeah, my name's Ashley. Yeah. Nice to meet nice you guys. Meet. How are you? What's going on, brother? You good? All well with nice yourself. man. Come on, he's loosened Welcome up on the handshake Yeah, I decided, <laughs> decided to. Didn't want to hurt you guys too much. Well, welcome to the Bible shop. Appreciate Thank you, um, man. How about we get straight into the process of the bagels, eh? Magic though? happens, yeah? Exactly. This is our massive mix, I'm going to tell you. We put about two to three bags, depending on the mix, into here with our sugar, salt, yeast, obviously, and other ingredients that are secret and that I cannot tell you. And now that was 450 or 800, how much are you selling on a day? Every single one. Wow. Every single bagel we make is fresh, nothing ever goes to waste. Yeah, you, you'd be taking them all home, that's yeah. right, isn't it? Oh no, I don't eat bagels anymore. I had them since <laughs> I was a child, I'm, I'm sick of them. And I guess so. on, on the weekends you get a lot of people coming on after a night out like, oh, give me a bagel. The weekend's the worst, yeah. but um, the mess as well is terrible, you'd hate to see it. I mean, the guy is lovely, but oh my, he's doing up 20 questions. I'm getting so sick of it. I just want to eat some bagels. So, boys, I'll show you the first part, which is pretty easy. You just knead the dough down, just flat. Try to use your wrist, it helps a lot. And then it goes on this little plate right here. Try to stretch it out as much. This actually broke last night, that's really annoying me. Uh, Put through into the machine. This is the BDM. Goes through. Oh, no way. Just goes into a piece of food for a minute. <laughs> Voila. Ooh. Oh, what'd you get? Oh, T5, do you want to have a go? If, do you know, if, if you were to have like bagel hands, he would have bagel hands. Look at the size of his claws, man. How much? 3.3. How much? 3.3. Oh, oh, I, I absolutely smashed Jordan when it came to guessing the way of the dough, and I mean, that will tell you everything you need to know. I just get it. I think it's looking all right. I don't know if this is free kg on the dot, but it's all right. Yeah, I've never eaten a proper bagel, ever. I've had one out the the American, you know, out of the packet, but I've never been to a bagel shop, so it's the first. 
these hands have seen more bread than a drug dealer. So I think the secret to like a good bread is the chew, is the fluff, is the fucking love. Perfect. You boil the bagels, it gets the shine of the bagel. It gives it its crispy bottom taste. And then it gets put in the oven, just makes it a bit better, gives it the shine. And you will see. Bakes, what's going on with the wood? Is that like a flavour thing? No, it's the original way the bagels have, were made in Poland and brought to the UK. And it's always just been done by us forever. I've never really met any other bakery that really do it, except for maybe two in the whole of the UK. Just grab the two like that, pick it up, and it'll just put it straight in the oven. You know what I like about this year? Each individual one has got like character, like its own unique name or something. Try and leave a little bit of space between each one. So they get their round, they can become square and just cooks it better. Leave them for five minutes and we'll flip them in it. So I'm not saying that we're exactly flipping stuff at Greg's, it was more of bang a frozen thing in the oven and watch it come out golden 20 minutes later, yeah. but I am looking for a new job, so let me prove myself. Exactly, so this one's a bit more, just hold it up a bit and yeah. then flip it. Hold it up? So this could go wrong? Could go a little bit wrong and it's a little bit hot. In a baker's bit, Perfect. just opening packets and stuff. Done. There you go. When do I start? You can start next week. There you go. Nice. Bagels for life, yeah. Come on. I mean, yeah, it's a nice place and like the owner's cool. I could actually see myself working here. It's definitely better than Greg's. I'm not too sure about the whole wood in the fire thing, but I mean, I guess the proof will be in the taste. They can have all of them if they want. Ooh. No way. But we can take all of them home, yeah? For oh. a price. <laughs> this one on the end to me, beautiful. You know what this is smelling like? A blank canvas, ready for any expectation, imagination, and beautiful creation. I'm ready to get some cheese and jam, a little bit of brisket, and a little bit of salmon in these right now. Scrut. Scrut. So Scrut, S-C-R-U-T. If something's looking nice, if something's tasting nice, if something's just nice, it's paying, whatever you want, that's what we say, Scrut. Just means like T T, T bro. T T. Ten out of ten. Um, you know what I mean? There's a better word for like these are sexy scrumptious. That's banging. You know what? I can actually relate. See what he's saying about a canvas. You know when you get a new book, yeah, and you flip the pages, you're like you're ready. That's how I feel right now. The bagel is smelling like a new book. It's a new chapter, which we haven't witnessed, but we're about to. Bang. Food is food, then I'm a foodie. And when I see a bagel, listen, I worked at Greg's for three years. I know a good bit of bread when I see it. Bagels are bagel. I don't know what all this canvas is, books. It smells like a nice bagel. I'm excited to try it, but we'll see. The bagels, they're looking pretty good. I'll be honest, especially for your first time, boys. Well done, boys. Guys, except that one. A small hole, not much colour, but don't know which one it was. Maybe e tubs. Yeah. That's yours. Yeah. 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 We like the golden brown finish, but you know what? For your first time, really good bagels. Let's put some fillings in there for you guys, yeah? Let's go. That's the one. See that, yeah? Right, the competition is on. Jordan, yeah, he's gonna go all fancy. He's probably gonna throw some salmon in there, something, I don't know. Omar. Look, he's gonna go cheese and jam. So I know that I'm definitely not gonna get third place. I think I'm gonna go route one, all the meats. I'm starving, that's what I'm feeling. TT. You know it's on now, yeah? Yeah, boy. It's about me to do my thing quickly. It's gotta be the most aesthetic bagel. And I want you lot to be the judges. It's nice and simple. Bit of cheese, bit of jam. That's all you need in You're this life. You're spilling it, it's a mess, it's on the board. Right, cool. Oh, that's coming off, that's that butter. Yeah. Love it. So Beautiful. Let me get your tongs as well. So, yeah. I'm the old uh, carberry. So what? The the trick is, I've got to be like loading up like weird. So at home, this is me already. Oh no, like, this is breaking very easily. Now that, my friend, is the winner. It's like a piece of art. That's. The most picturesque, looks beautiful. Honestly, would say a bit more cream cheese, but Man. each to their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are scrambled as well, so. Honestly, it's really just a taste test. I want you guys to decide now. Cheers. Cheers. I've got no bagel. Oh my god. Oh. oh my days. It's a scrutiny. That's a scrutiny right now. Yeah. That's, That's a, a munch. munch. 
Trust me, bro. The last bagel I had was in Brooklyn, New York City. And then other than that, I can't remember. A couple spots in London, but... And I know I was coming with the, you know, what's a book, what's a canvas. Lord of mercy. This, different, I have to admit it. I've never had a bagel like this, ever. If you're knocking about Brick Lane, I've been in the area of Shoreditch in London, there's a lot of food spots that you can hit. But after coming here and experiencing what we've experienced, I definitely recommend you come here. Bagel, bagel, baggy, booby, whatever you want to call it. This is amazing. Well, how are the bagels? Absolutely. T T. Ten out of ten, bro. Better than the super uh, supermarket, so yeah. Perfect. Way better. If you're ever in the area, again, please come and say hi. I'll definitely fix you guys with a few bagels as well, yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you for visiting, boys. Lovely to meet you, man. Take it easy, bro. And you. I say That's that much. much. <laughs> Would you reckon? Mate, I'm full, I'm happy, I'm healthy. I'm maybe not healthy, I did have a cheese and jam sandwich. Back to mine. So our friends in Zen B sent us over some products and I'm thinking about pairing it with these beautiful bagels that we just picked up from Brick Lane. Now, I've tried this sauce before and I can't lie, it's beautiful. But I think with a couple humble ingredients, we're going to elevate it just slightly. Right, every good dish starts with the base. And the base today is onion. It's the life and soul of any dish. So the reason for the red onion, it's a red sauce and red onions tend to have a deeper flavour. If you're going for something like fish, then you want the white onion because you want to keep the whole thing a lot lighter. This right here, the best sound in the kitchen. This is like love, this is pure love. When you hear this sound, it's like a dance. Everything's flowing. I think for this dish, we're gonna go penne, just cause it will work best. Now with the garlic, we just want a suggestion of garlic. Nothing too mad. So what we're gonna do, very simply, is just come down on it and squash the garlic and we're gonna put that in whole. So you won't actually taste like garlic in your mouth, but it will be there. Do you know what I mean? It will combine everything. So there, we're just releasing the flavour and the oils out of the bay leaves, just so it gives a bit more flavour. Right, so at this point, we can go in with the sauce. So I'm thinking we're gonna go crispy bagel bun, a little bit of fresh burnt red pepper, then the pasta, then mayonnaise, and then the top bun. And some herbs and whatever, a little bit of extra within that somewhere. Mm, proper. You can really smell the red peppers in this show. Very vibrant, very deep. As far as packet sauce go, this is super special. Whatever they do, really, really special. So this pasta is yellow peas, which means there's no gluten in it. It's completely vegan, and it's also got loads of protein. In the kitchen, I started when I could literally barely stand up. Like, that was how young I was. And we had like a little step ladder, but my nan's kitchen was, is about as big as that chopping board. She's a big influence. So the things that I'd learned with my nan, she'll tell you this, but mum, mum is a rubbish cook. So it's like, I started off learning bits and bobs with nan and that kind of stuff. And then it slowly graduated. I was like coming home I was getting rubbish dinner. So from like the age of 10 or something, I just started cooking for myself, cooking for myself, then cooking for the family. And now we're here basically. Oh, it is coming together. So I'm thinking crispy bun, beautiful garlic mayonnaise on the bottom. It's gonna add a little creaminess. So the theme through this dish is the essence of garlic. So we've got a slight hint in the mayonnaise and we've got a slight hint in the pasta, but it's not overpowering. And with food like this, this is proper homegrown, organic, loved food. So don't worry about getting your fingers involved. Don't worry about making a mess. This is what this is about, okay? You've got fresh Greek basil, which is slightly like aniseedy, which will really complement what we're doing. Just freshly cracked black pepper. Now that is a pasta bagel. Carbs on carbs. I want to see hashtag carbs on carbs in the comment section. Blood 
Oh, <laughs> this is mad. Right, what we're gonna try to do now is roll it up and cut it in half so we've got a cross section. Presentation skills, 10 out of 10. Smell, I'll give you a 9.5. Love that. Really fine. Fine. You're fine, bro. Try to do your thing. Huh? Mm. Sorry to double dip. Don't just give me lip service, what are you saying? Well, how about I finish my pie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give me an analysis. Yes. <laughs> All the flavours are coming through. <laughs> Lovely. Beautiful. Yeah. Love it. Oh, All right, cool, continue. Cool. I knew, yeah, when I saw the salmon bagel, that it would be something like this. But the fact you've done that with pasta, that's actually amazing. Oh. Come on, him. I can't eat them. I don't know, yeah, it's TT, do you know what I mean? Every bagel I've had at this point is 10-10. This whole day has just me being proved wrong when I said it was a bagel. You managed to get pasta, <laughs> bit of something from the garden, slap it in a bagel, and it's absolutely beautiful. Screw up. The way the sauce and the pasta go together, it's like, it's meant to be. Do you know what I mean? Us. Us. I'll have to swallow my pride here. It, it was really good, so I think now I'm gonna have to do an Omar meditation. But that's Jordan, like, it, when we go out to eat, he'll always find the magic. Are you, man? I get it, yeah, like, we've actually been on our feet all day. The bagel shop, we've been there, we've been kneading the dough, now it's time to literally find the gratitude. Yeah, take that breath. Yeah, relax, rest. Hold tight and naughty chef for cooking up a storm. Hold tight yourselves for being there. Hold tight is Zenbi for coming through with a pasta which is 10 out of 10 and the sauce to complement it and the taste in our mouths which will forever last. And listen, big up everyone, man. It's been a lovely day. Obviously, we're all knackered. Let's just take that munch gratitude, boy. Take that breath. Yeah, yeah, my name's Jordan Villam, AKA the Naughty Chef. My name's Ewan, aka Tubbs. And yes, my name's Omar Ojemi. And yes. together we are the Munch Club. The Munch Listen, Club. get yourselves over to my come up, subscribe, hit that like button, and we're gonna be here at the Munch Club. Party. We're gone! We're gone! It's finished! Let's go! Done! Over! <laughs>